All right, so we got a um, 2022 Lund 1650 Angler Sport. This is a 16 and a half foot boat with a beam of about 79 inches. I'm going to set the camera down for a minute. Take a measurement of the beam. So, yeah, there you can see that now. That comes in at 79 inches for the beam. Let's see if I can put this away without scratching the boat. So it's got uh, two rod lockers, one uh, lockable rod lockers on the port side. You can see there. Here's the starboard side. I got a bunch of stuff in the way. I'm putting in a um, transom mount Mancota. Haven't got one for the bow yet. Haven't got my fish finder yet. That'll, those things will come later. Here's the dash. Got a pretty nice layout. You got a speedometer, tachometer, steering wheel, uh, stereo. It's Bluetooth capable. And it's got the USB. Whoops, my hands in the way. You got the USB here, along with the, uh, I think it's 1.3 millimeter MP3 iPod jack, input jack. Got your 12 volt DC right there. Uh, got a little phone storage here, but uh, my phone doesn't fit in there with a storage case on it. Here's your switches. You got a master power over here. Horn, various other switches. Cup holder. This one came with three seats. Real decent seats. Show you the outside again. Here's my Mencota box. Just a little motor for the transom for now. It's got the swing away tongue. Oh, and this boat has uh, a great amount of storage for a 16 foot class boat. It's got pass through storage, so you can't really see it with all the stuff in there, but um, passes through to the other side. And then you've got your live bowl here with a spot for the bait bucket. Over there is a battery box. It's got room for a Group 24, I think Group 27, and a charger. It's not going to hold a 29 or a 31, though, if you try to put a charger in there. Go around to the other side and take a look at the uh, rod locker. It'll hold up to um, an eight, I think even an eight and a half foot rod. Uh, I think, I think also um, on the other side as well. And you can probably put some more rods down here on the bottom. I'm going to probably do that eventually. Um, this particular model, the Angler, has the uh, does not have the built-in gas tank. Just put your gas tank right in here. I got six gallon. Uh, yeah. And uh, you can put another one over there if you need to, you want to, or you could, you know, put another can here, strap it in. Um, you see, I've got storage in there. I'm getting ready to put that uh, Group 29 battery in there for the transom mounted trolling motor. I've got a uh, 60 horse Mercury under there. Let me um, step on this uh, trailer fender here and show you the glove box. It's the biggest glove box of any. Um, 16 foot boat I looked at. I think even bigger than some of the 17, 18 foot ones I looked at. It's lockable. I'm going to measure them here to give you an idea of just how big this glove box is. It's uh, 19 inches right there. Well, close to it, about 18 three quarters, anyways. Um, and give you an idea on the depth here. And then 15 inches. 
and get an in internal measurement of the width. You can see I've got a lot of stuff in here. So we got, let me do this right. Set the camera down for just a minute. And, uh, oh wow, look at that. We're at nearly, whoops, whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it, okay, we're still recording. What? Not sure what happened there. I think I hit the power button or something. Uh, so you can see we've got about nearly 28 inches in width. So well over two feet. These tackle packs I've got in here. idea how big this glove box is. This tackle pack is you know, 13, 14 inches. Now, if anybody can help me identify this old lure or, or tell me where I can get some. It's an old Rebel. But um, I even looked them up online and I can't find anything. What does that say? Let me see if I can read it here. I can't read it out here. I'd have to take it inside probably, but it's a wobbler maybe. Oh, shallow R. Saying shallow R, but if somebody can help me identify that, let me know where maybe I can get some more. And uh, this other one here. I'm not sure what brand this one is, if it's a Rebel or not, but I've had this one for a long time. Um, I can't find anything like it. I looked it up online. If you can help me identify that, that would be great. Let's put some comments below. I'll make sure to enable the comments. Uh, see if I can give you a shot of the battery box here. So we got uh, my foot. We got an opening of uh, 13 inches, and what do we got for depth? Got about 11 inches in depth. And. Uh, This way. Well, we got about 13 inches when we go that way, roughly. 